Hello friends, in this video we study magnetization and magnetic intensity. The atoms with unpaired electron having odd number of outermost electron have net magnetic dipole moment. In the origin of magnetization, we are studied any substance can produce the magnetic field based on the magnetic dipole moment of atom. And in the atom, there are two types of magnetic dipole moment. One is orbital magnetic moment, another one is spin magnetic moment. Whenever we consider a spin magnetic moment, we consider the outermost orbital, outermost valence electron. Whenever the outermost valence electron are of odd number, then that electron having one type of orientation. The spin orientation are of two types, up motion and down motion. Whenever the odd number of electrons are present, that electron having only one type of motion, spin motion, that electron we called as an unpaired electron. And such unpaired electron can produce or can have net magnetic dipole moment. But whenever the outermost orbital electron are of even number of electron, whenever there are even number of electron, they are having the, both the orientation up and down motion. So both the orientation, they will cancel each other. So such electron we called as a paired electron and the paired electron will not produce a magnetic dipole moment. The bulk material, the solid material is made of a large number of such atom, each having inherent property of the magnetic moment. The magnetic dipole moments are randomly oriented. As they are randomly oriented, their net dipole moment is zero. As the magnetic dipole moment of atoms are randomly oriented, they cancelled each other. So net magnetic dipole moment is zero. But if you consider some material like Fe3O4, their vector addition of all the magnetic dipole moment may not be zero. Either all the atoms, all the atomic dipole moments are oriented in single direction. So they having some net magnetic dipole moment. Such net magnetic dipole moment material produce the magnetization property. What is magnetization? It is the ratio of magnetic dipole moment to the volume of material. It is a vector quantity as the net magnetic dipole moment is also a vector quantity. Its unit is ampere per meter and it having the dimension a l power minus 1. Consider a rod made of such material having some net magnet magnetization m. Consider a solenoid with n turns per unit length carrying current I. We know the magnetic field inside solenoid is mu naught Ni. Now place a rod inside a solenoid. When we place a rod inside a solenoid, due to the magnetic field of the solenoid, the rod get magnetized and it starts producing magnetic field. So net magnetic field inside a rod is addition of magnetic field produced by solenoid as well as magnetic field of the material of rod. Before placing a rod inside a solenoid, its magnetic dipole moments are oriented in random motion. But when the rod is inserted inside a solenoid, all the dipole moments are aligned in the same direction. Uh, it's one side act as a north pole, another side act as a south pole and this material is now magnetized. And such material, the material which is magnetized can produce, can produce the magnetic field in the surrounding region. It is observed that magnetic field produced by such material is directly proportional to the magnetization of the material. If you remove the proportionality sign and if you take the constant, that constant is mu naught. Mu naught is permeability of free space. So magnetic field of the material is mu naught times magnetization. So this one is the uh, magnetic field lines of the material or the rod placed inside a magnetic field. The magnetic field produced by that rod or the material are aligned in the direction of magnetic field of solenoid. So net magnetic dipole moment, sorry, net magnetic field uh, of that rod of that material is mu naught ni plus mu naught m. Here ni that is the number of turns 
into current is called as a magnetic field intensity h in the solenoid the magnetic field is produced due to the number of turns and current flow through the turns if i increase the number of turns its magnetic field increase if i increase the quantity of the current amount of the current the magnetic field will increase so the core part which produce the magnetic field of the solenoid is number of turns into current and that number of turns into current is called as a magnetic field intensity of the solenoid this magnetic field intensity depends on number of the turns and the amount of the current through it so magnetic field of solenoid is mu not ni which is equal to mu not h for this value in the equation we get mu not h plus mu not m take mu not common so it is h plus m what it means magnetic field of the rod or the material is depends on both the quantity h and m so h equal to b by mu not minus m what is the conclusion h is magnetic intensity of solenoid m is magnetization of material both the quantity tells the information about same quantity that is magnetic field h tells the magnetic field produced by solenoid magnetization m tells the magnetic field of the material so both the quantity tells the information about the magnetic field so both the quantity have same unit ampere per meter and same dimension thus magnetic field induced in material depends on both the quantity h and m it is observed that the magnetic field intensity of solenoid is very weak as compared to the magnetization so magnetization induced in material is proportional to h and here the proportionality constant we consider as a new letter called as chi called as susceptibility so where chi is the magnetic susceptibility and this susceptibility is a measure of magnetic behavior of the material placed in external magnetic field this susceptibility is the ratio of magnetization upon magnetic field intensity which are the same unit quantity so susceptibility is the unitless and dimensionless if you put the value of magnetization m equal to susceptibility times intensity that is h we get the equation b equal to mu not 1 plus susceptibility into h 1 plus susceptibility put the value as mu r relative permeability of that substance therefore b is equal to mu not mu r h now whereas mu not mu r is nothing but mu that is permeability of the substance therefore the magnetic field of the material is permeability of the substance times magnetic field intensity so what is the mu mu is the permeability of the medium that is equal to absolute permeability of the free space into 1 plus susceptibility so these are some of the equations based on the susceptibility which we use while solving the examples the magnetic susceptibility is a measure the response of material when it is placed in external magnetic field it indicates how much magnetization will be produced in a given substance when kept in external magnetic field so susceptibility is observed on the basis of atomic dipole moment that is the magnetic dipole moment orientation of the substance when placed in external magnetic field if atomic dipole moment of the substance are in opposite direction of magnetic field then its susceptibility is negative if atomic dipole moment of substance are in the same direction of magnetic field then its susceptibility is positive and whatever the number of atomic dipole moment of the substance aligned in the direction of magnetic field is proportional to the susceptibility and the susceptibility is greater than 1000 that is very large for the soft iron core so these are some of the important points of the susceptibility on the basis of the magnetic susceptibility we can differentiate the magnetic material as a diamagnetic material paramagnetic material and ferromagnetic material that we see in the next video thank you